Expect more showers and storms tonight with locally heavy rainfall possible. Good Thursday afternoon, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, most of the rain has let up over the last couple of hours. We're actually seeing some sunny breaks in many areas, and temperatures have made a run toward 80 degrees. But there's more rain on the way. Now, the heavier rains over the last 24 hours have taken place in the plateau. Two, three, four inches of rain or more in parts of Fentress and Cumberland County, much less further east. But that changes tonight as we'll find this rain begin to move to the east on Friday, like western Pennsylvania into West Virginia, even the Tri-Cities, but we will still get some showers on Friday. The future rainfall tonight, right through tomorrow morning, puts the yellow areas, that's the heavier rains, in northern Knox County into Anderson, as well as Union and Claiborne counties, for example. That's two and three inches of rain. That's a lot of rain that could cause some localized flooding. We want to watch that closely, but if you add in Friday's rain, it starts to fill in around Newport, around Sevier County, and into southern Blood County, so it's going to fill in through the foothills and smokies on friday itself temperatures as of three o'clock 80 degrees in knoxville 78 in oak ridge 82 in severeville you throw in these dew points my goodness mid to upper 60s it feels sticky and it feels like it's 86 in severeville like a page right out of summer feels like 82 in knoxville at this particular time now the evening planner for knoxville in the valley will cool us back to 72 by 7 with more rain and storms developing 68 by 11 o'clock again still need the umbrella if you're out and about. Low temperature tonight, 59 in Crossville, 61 in Wartburg, about 64 in Knoxville. You can see the clouds have thinned out across much of East Tennessee, but there's more coming up from the south. In fact, we've seen some big gaping holes in the clouds, which have allowed enough sunny breaks to get us up to around 80 degrees. The normal high for this time of year is 75. Take a look at our future cast. The green areas continues to show how unsettled it is. Going into 4 o'clock on Friday, most of us will be dry for high school football Friday night. Even at 8 o'clock Saturday morning, looks dry, but maybe a few sprinkles there east towards, say, Morristown, maybe the Tri-Cities, but not much more than that. We go into Sunday, it looks dry with lots of sunshine. Sunday's high should be around 81 degrees. Here are your headlines. More showers and storms tonight. Locally heavy rain still possible. Not everybody gets it, but if you get it, you'll know it. Showers and storms move to the east on Friday. That's the general trend. Now, the seven-day rain chance is about 40% tomorrow, 20% chance on Saturday. That's mainly east, and maybe another spot of rain developing on Wednesday of next week. Next week, of course, is fall break for Knox County students, and, of course, Monday is Columbus Day. 64 tonight, more clouds and fog, showers and storms with locally heavy rain still possible. We look ahead to Friday, 78 degrees, partly sunny, a 40% chance for showers and storms. Winds generally out of the southwest, 3 to 8 miles per hour. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. 78 on Friday, 79 to near 80 on Saturday. Of course, the big game starts at noon. They should conclude the game around 80 degrees, if not 79. 81 on Sunday. We're in the low 80s on Tuesday. Still pretty nice and warm for October. Warm and wet has been the call for this month of October. We'll be watching this very, very closely indeed. By the way, my name is David Aldrich. If you haven't checked out the Captain Accurate Weather app, I hope you'll do so because one of the cool things I can promote is that it's sponsored by my friends at Fox Toyota in Clinton. I-75, exit 122. Make sure you check it out. Keep you and your family safe. Just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldrich. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.